2010. I already did 2010, Kyle. Oh, you did? Yeah. Alright, we're going to move on to the next segment of my tribute to Richard Dawson. I still have my same Skype guest. And the next Family Feud game I'm going to be doing is for the Superintendent. I mean Super Nintendo. And so we're trying to get Alex cool with us. This will be a solo game. And I'm going to put in... And now we have Alex Hool with us. Hey guys. And Alex, you joined in just in time because I'm doing Family Feud for the Super Nintendo as part of my Richard Dawson tribute. Awesome. All right. Here's our first bullseye question. Name something you should not leave in your car on a hot day. A pet. Kids. And pet is the number one answer. A food you couldn't pronounce when you were a small child. Yeah, I think some little kids like to pronounce it as biscotti. Yeah, that's what I used to say. <laughs> okay, spaghetti. Bullseye. So now we're up to $8,000. We're trying to add three grand to it with the following question. Name a subject that taxi drivers are always talking about. Uh, weather? Weather is the bullseye answer. Yay! Yeah. All right. For $4,000, name an occupation that involves wearing a mask. Um, a doctor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I know uh, doctors in hospitals uh, wear masks when they're doing surgeries and stuff. Yes. Ew. Bullseye! Yeah. Is it possible we could get all the bullseye answers? We're about to find out. Something people save as mementos of their vacations. Uh, photos! My dog was looking at my foot. Ew. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. With the dog licking my foot. We got all the bullseye answers! Yeah! So that means we're playing fast money for the highest amount possible. $20,000. Alright, let's go to our first round. Top 12 answers are on the board for this question. Name a kind of door. Uh, revolving. Revolving door, that's a good one. Okay. Revolving door, number eight, set by five people. How about an elevator door? Or like automatic or sliding. I'm going to put an elevator. Or like those fancy doors you see under whatever. Strike. Kenny says it'll get a strike. Well, uh, you never know. It's not there. Um, closet door. Kenny, where are those banners? <laughs> no, it's not there. No. Automatic door? Check car door. Uh, oh, a car door, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Good answer, Leaf. No problem. Kenny, where are your banners? 
I don't know. They're probably <laughs> at Alex's shirt. Oh, dear God. Car door is number five. Oh, well. At least I got something. Yep. Kenny says his manners are in outer space. Good answer. Very good answer. Okay, now let's try automatic door. This is what I said. No. Number one, garage door. Front door, screen door, storm door. Dutch, French, sliding, swinging, back. Oh, well, I, I don't think I heard the, well, I didn't see it. But the top answer was only worth 17 points. Probably because of all the, of how many answers were on the board. Anyway, there's only five answers on the board for this question. Name a president who used his middle initial. Uh, Lyndon Johnson. Johnson. Lyndon B. Johnson, yes. Will they accept last names only? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll put in the whole thing just in case. I'm already putting in Johnson. But I'll put Kennedy next. Lyndon B. Johnson at the very bottom. Oh, nobody likes Lyndon B. Johnson. Okay, Kenny said Kennedy, right? Yeah, Kennedy. Oh my god, you killed Kennedy! You, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes Obama? I'm a Democrat. <laughs> Obama's not getting my vote. Wait a minute, I'm not an American citizen, so I can't vote for him. Anyway, Kennedy's number one. I think, who are, I think the, our, our, a good friend of ours who's been following the election right now is Angie. Well, I'm going to say Herbert Hoover. Uh-uh. Mm, I think I'll strike. Oh, all right, well, I'll change it then. Nixon. Richard and Nixon, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, FDR too. Now, if this were a real show, of course, they would have to take my first answer. The thing where. And Nixon's not there. What about the uh, monkey? Who had the monkey? I don't know. Try FDR. Okay, uh, I'll just put in Roosevelt. I think they might ask you to be specific. We can't use Bush. Okay, uh, Franklin Roosevelt, I believe you said, right? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Well, actually, the first Bush that was president did have a middle initial, so I could always try him. trying to think. Who died recently? Who died recently? Uh, yeah, Roosevelt is number two. Okay, uh, good old George Bush. George H. W. Bush. Hmm. And of course, as we all know, Lyndon B. Johnson was part of a subject of a losing million dollar question on Millionaire. Yeah? <clears throat> and Bush is not there. What? What? Okay. Uh, Nixon. Richard M. Nixon, yeah. Richard Milhouse Nixon. Milhouse. Huh. Yeah, that's his middle name. His middle name reminds me of Bart's friend from The Simpsons for some reason. Millhouse? Yeah. Millhouse is the man. Millhouse Van Houten. 
No. Truman and Eisenhower were the others. Uh, but we're at 174 points. Top four answers on the board for this question. Name something that keeps kids indoors. Uh, rain. Rain? Monsters? Monsters. <laughs> That makes zero sense. Bad weather, number one. And there's enough on the board to go to fast money with this. Oh, I got some uh, illness? Oh, good one. I've been sick a few times myself, and that sucks. I hate getting sick. How about, how about homework? Oh, that's a good one. And illness yeah. is number two. Uh, huh? Ew! <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. They're everywhere and you're where you are. Oh, get them out of here. <laughs> and now they moved to your pants. Oh, boy. Get them out, get them out! <sighs> Homework is not there. <laughs> Something keeps kids indoors. <laughs> uh, chores. Yes, chores. Oh. No, it's not there. Oh, Kenny, I think the, the part is heading towards you. Okay, two strikes. Something that keeps kids indoors. My hair's in your business, and Alex, I'm sorry, they're all over your hair. <laughs> okay, something that keeps kids indoors. Two answers left, and two strikes. Uh, uh, um, oh, I, I know. What you put, what you put in? Well, they can't play outdoors if they're being punished. Grounded! Yeah. Butters, you're grounded. Go to your room. It's not on the board. Ah. TV and computer. Ah, why didn't we think of that? And I'm on a computer right now. I don't know why that didn't come to me. And I'm watching TV right now. But we do have enough points to go to Fast Money. Uh, who would like to go first? <laughs> All right, Leaf. Good luck to you. Name the person to whom you write most often. Um, a friend. Good one. Uh, Kenny. All right. A popular color for socks. White. Something a wife pressures her husband into buying. Um, furniture. Furniture, very good. The month when you do your spring cleaning. April. And finally, something a ballet dancer wears. Uh, a tutu. Of course. <laughs> All right, Leaf, let's find out how well you did. Friends, 21. White, 44, and that was number one. Furniture, 16. April, 48, and that was number one. Tutu, 24. Okay, uh, Alex, care to go second? Sure. All right, now, Alex, Leaf got 153 points. Uh, that's a good start. So now you only need 47 points in order to get us the $20,000. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. If you cannot think of something, say pass. We'll come back to it if there's time left. Also, keep in mind, you cannot duplicate any of Leaf's answers, or else you'll hear this sound, uh -uh, and I will ask you to try again, and you give me a different answer. You ready? Ready. 
Alright, here we go. Name the person to whom you write most often. A popular color for socks. White. Uh, uh, try again. Black. Something a wife pressures her husband into buying. Groceries. Okay, very good. The month when you do your spring cleaning. April. Uh, uh, try again. March. And finally, something a ballet dancer wears. A tutu. Uh, uh, try again. Ballet slippers. Alright, let's find out how well you did. Mom, nothing. Black, 37. You only need 10 more. Groceries, nothing. March, 28. You did it. And the last one was worth nothing, but it doesn't matter because we got 20 grand. So $20,000. And guess what? All my Skype guests get that exact same amount. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Alex, you're down your shirt and your pants and your shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, gross. <laughs> well, that's it for the Richard Dawson tribute. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>